This video will show you how to get started using the Pocket Lab iOS app. First, download the app from the Apple App Store. Search The Pocket Lab to find our iOS app. Next, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your device. Pull the device settings up and turn Bluetooth on. Turn the Pocket Lab sensor on with the top button. The LED indicator will flash red or green depending on the state of the device. And the axes are oriented with the logo on the front of the case in X, Y, and Z. Launch the Pocket Lab app and press the top button on the Pocket Lab sensor. While the sensor is trying to connect, the LED will flash red and green. Bring the sensor close to your iPad and the devices will connect automatically. The LED will flash red five times while it's connecting and then green intermittently when data is being sent. When the app begins, you will be viewing the acceleration data in X, Y, and Z. Rotate the sensor with respect to the Earth's gravitational field to see how acceleration changes. To view data from the other sensors, press the graph icon in the upper left hand corner to view a list of the graphs. Now we're going to measure angular velocity. We can measure the angular velocity in X, Y, and Z using the gyroscope. Rotate the sensor and you'll see a change in the Z axis. Rotate the other way and you'll see a positive change. To record experimental sensor data, press the round record button below the graph screen. The graph screen will clear and you will start to save new experimental data. When you want to stop collecting data, press the stop button below the graph. After you've recorded experimental data, you can scroll through the data graph and pinch and zoom to see a data point more closely. You can also select a data point to view the data point value. To share and export the recorded data, press the share button on the bottom right hand corner. You can export a CSV file of the raw sensor data or a snapshot of the current sensor graph. Depending on what other apps you have installed on your iPad, you can export the data using email, Dropbox, or other options. Click on the more button to see what other apps you can export the data with. You can also export an image of the current graph view by pressing the Share Snapshot button. And then you can save to the device or export to a number of other programs. If you choose to save the snapshot to your device, the image will be available in your Photos app. Once you are done reviewing and exporting the data, press the Clear button clear the current screen and start to gather new experimental data. To change the data units for a particular sensor, press the ruler icon on the top right hand corner and you will see available standard units. For example, on the temperature sensor, you can choose between Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Some of the sensors, like the magnetometer, come with a large offset when you start them up. To zero out the offset, press the zero button on the bottom right hand corner. This will make your readings more accurate. If you rotate the sensor, you will see the change in magnetic field. The Pocket Lab sensor can transmit data at three data rates, slow, medium, and fast. To change the data rate, press the speedometer gauge on the top right hand corner. The slow data rate is one sample per second. The medium and default data rate is 10 samples per second. And the fastest data rate 
is up to 20 samples per second, but depends on the particular sensor. To disconnect the sensor in the app, press the top button on the sensor, and then press the home button on your iPad. The green light should stop flashing. Make sure that you press the top button on the sensor, otherwise it will stay connected even when the app has been closed. If the Pocket Lab sensor travels out of range while you're recording data, you will save the data up until you lost the connection. So say you place Pocket Lab on a rocket and the rocket flies away, you can save the data that you recorded until you went out of range. To reconnect a sensor that has traveled out of range, press the top Pocket Lab icon and choose Pair with Pocket Lab. Then press the top button on the Pocket Lab sensor to reconnect. For more information, please visit thepocketlab.com.